to you, I open the drum shop as a hobby, not as a business, which is most unusual. <laughs> so we're having it all done out. Um, air conditioned, so there'll be three or four drum rooms, so it should look quite smart. The reason we're changing things now is that I had no idea how many mad people out there wanted to play the drums like me. I really do. But we have an awful lot of people, so, uh, over a hundred now, which is quite extraordinary. I left the shop an hour ago and there are lessons going on at half past in There are there's a drum shop in Birmingham that is the size of Woolworths in Warwick. And that's that's no joke. It is huge. And all it sells are drums. And you can buy a drum kit up to thirty thousand pounds there. So we can't compete with that. The one thing we can compete with is personal service, like any small shop. And the other thing we can do is we're realising there's a lot of people want to play the drums from the age of six to seventy six, including we're staggered how many, without being rude, and I've got two daughters, how many ladies and girls want to play the drums. 40% of those people that we teach are girls or ladies. I think there's a market now for people in midlife crisis. There's a market for people that kids have left home and they want something to do. We've just had a 66-year-old lady start lessons last week. Where the heck has she been the last 65 years? She came for her first lesson. I don't know if you saw recently in the paper, and there was an advert, that gorilla doing that advert. Well, if she wants to play, she wants to do that beat. There you go. She's taken a month to have the guts to come into the shop, and she had a first lesson, she was beaming. Sign in the property business, estate agents, uh, surveyors, uh, a lot of hyperactive kids. Plus, we make the lessons fun as well. We teach properly, but we make it a laugh. Because otherwise, a 10-year-old kid is not gonna stay for week after week if you plod on and you teach him in a suit and you're, and you're boring. So our teachers are very mad, a bit like me. We try and get you a starter kit as cheap as we can. Basically, uh, we'll help you find the right sort of kit. You can buy a drum kit now for £250. What we do is we then teach you how to look after the kit. We tend to ch chuck in a couple of lessons as well, because you haven't a clue what you're doing. Everyone thinks drumming's easy, and it's not. It's the old problem of doing that, uh, trying to do different things. So we would help you, which is what the big shops don't do. We also rent out the rooms for five pounds for half an hour, which we're trying to, the reason we do it so cheaply is we want kids to come in. Yeah. Maybe at half term or perhaps as a ladder 15, brings the song in, you can go downstairs into the dungeon or one of the drum rooms for five pounds and you can play and practice, and make as much noise as he likes, although it hurts our ears. So do you reckon that um, anyone um, could play the drums? No, because it is such a difficult thing, as I think you know, to play, to try and do different things. That is so difficult to do. And I'm only a little chap and yet I can drum for quite some time, so it's not a question of brute strength, which is why girls are just as good as boys. But drums, you can be just as good and better. Uh, one, Mika, you know Mika on um, the Brits last week? Did you see the drummer? Sensational girl drummer. She, she's ten times better than I. It's a personal service. That's what we give. That's the only advantage we can give over anyone else.